finally means um, coming to an end. Vocabulary refers to knowing the meaning of words and is critical to successful reading comprehension. Building vocabulary involves teaching your learner how to figure out the meaning of words while reading. It also requires selecting and studying the meanings of individual words and parts of words. It's important to relate these vocabulary words to learners' current and prior experiences to help cement them in their word bank. Magazines are also um, capitalized. Okay. When you preview a text to read with your learner, select vocabulary words to pre-teach that your learner might not know and that are important for understanding the text. Some good words to pre-teach fall into the category of difficult words. Difficult words include homographs, or words that look exactly the same but have different meanings. The word bear is a homograph because it can mean the animal bear, but it can also mean bear as in to tolerate, and bear as in carry. Selecting and practicing homographs can be a powerful way to improve a learner's vocabulary and reading comprehension. Let's take a couple of those and make some flashcards if you want to grab your flashcards. So the main thing on these flashcards is you just have one word, but you're uh -huh. going to have two meanings, or at uh -huh. least two meanings, right? Okay. So let's try, um, let's start with the one we started with, which was match. And then on the back, we're going to put the meanings. So the first match we used was like a soccer match. So that could be a sporting uh -huh. event. S T P. Oh, sport. sport. O R T. Mm -hmm. Sport. Game. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the second kind of match, the kind where you light a candle, is something you strike. strike. S T. Uh huh. Er. I. Okay, this is a long I, so we want the K in there. And oh, with the E. Yes, that would be strick. Okay, strike, perfect. Mm -hmm. With the E. Strike, and then maybe for fire. Mm -hmm. Then the last one. That don't look good. <laughs> okay, for me. Okay, good. And then the last one, my shoes don't match my pants. So match means like go looking alike or to looking. look alike. Mm -hmm. Looking a look uh like. All one word, yeah. Good. So I'm gonna have you tell me as many meanings of this word as you can think of, because there's more than one. Okay. So it's the bat, the the hitting bat, mm -hmm. and then the bat that flies. Uh -huh. So the hitting bat if I'm holding the wooden thing, uh -huh. the wooden thing is a bat. Yeah. But what about when I swing it? When I swing oh, you're it, it's a verb. Yeah. Yes, you're I'm batting. batting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. How you're about right. this I forgot one? about that. Okay. Um, match. Two people match. Their clothes match. Uh huh. There, you can use the one for the shoes and the purse that match, mm -hmm. and you can also use the match like you're striking. Uh huh. Match. Uh huh. What about if I'm playing soccer? Oh, a soccer match. I could match. have a soccer uh -huh. match with or my ra wrestling, wrestling match. match. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, good. So we can add these to your um, word list. bank and okay. your vocabulary list. Okay. Okay, and we'll do something with those wow. for homework too. I want you to go ahead and there's two kinds of a park, like you park your car mm -hmm. or we can go to the park and have a picnic. Okay. So one is a verb, I'm doing an action in my car. The other one is a place. Okay. okay. So I want you to come up with a sentence using one of those. I had to move my car to park it in another area. Yeah, we both did today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's good. <laughs> yes, and after this, we're going to go sit out in the park. Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's very good. So can you think of any other homographs that you know? Like, light and light. Light, uh huh. Uh -huh. Can light. you use use them in a sentence to show me the difference in the meanings? I turned on the light. It is daylight. Oh, 
That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's light outside, uh -huh. or we turned on the light switch, uh -huh. and um, what about my purse feels light. light. Uh -huh. I must have lost something. <laughs> yeah. So I'd like for homework, maybe, what do you think about trying to write some sentences for the meanings of these words that we practiced today and that you've made the cards for? Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to try and write the first couple sentences together? Okay. Okay. So here's, um, we've already done park. We could try this one together. Sink. Okay. Sink. Okay. The toy boat will sink when you try to float it in the kitchen sink. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now what we'll do is, um, do you want to do the writing or would you like me to do the writing and you think of the sentences? I'll think of those sentences. Okay. So think of a, a sentence using the word sink as an object that you put water in. I wash clothes in the kitchen sink. Great. Perfect. And now think of a sentence using sink as in going down. Sink. How about if I... I'll add one for okay. you, and then next, when you go home for your homework, you can Good. start trying to okay, do one for sink. each. Yes. Okay, so mine will be um, when I saw the water turn red, it made my heart sink. <laughs> because I obviously did something wrong when I was washing my clothes. <laughs> okay? okay? So, what, tell me again for homework. We're gonna do Ooh, this list. We're, we're doing. We're gonna start here and... Work down. Yes, and you'll be doing a sentence for each of the meanings on these homographs. Okay. And I know you know the words, it's just practicing using them in different ways for different meanings. Okay. okay? So what did you uh, think about the activities that we did about homographs and how it was explained? Well, the, um, how they spell the same, but they mean something totally different. Mm -hmm. That was new to me. What would you like to do more of on this activity or to get more practice? What, what activity would you like to do more of? The sentences. Mm -hmm. Seeing them right uh, yeah, next to each yeah, other? Yeah. Okay, we can work on doing those yeah, sentences those together are, next yeah. time. Great. Developing background knowledge and a strong vocabulary is key to reading well. For this reason, it's important to explicitly and regularly focus on vocabulary development with your learner. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative. 